there are a few things actually. Um, when does it become too much? It's starting to become too much, and we're starting to see that right now within social media. Um, there, there's consolidation that's happening. Buddy Media was just acquired by Salesforce. Vitro was just acquired by Oracle. So the platforms and technologies that allow marketers to execute appropriately within social media are starting to scale back, tighten up, and become smarter. So we're starting to see it. We're kind of hitting that point right now within social media, which is great because this means we need to put on our big boy pants and it's no more just flash in the pan. This is everybody has to be doing social media and you know, great point. We need to take a minute and figure out exactly what's going to be appropriate for our businesses. But I think the paradigm shift here needs to be for everybody in the room not to think about social media as where it fits within your marketing funnel. Okay, we have an email campaign and we have a print campaign and we have point of purchase and all that stuff and hey, let's add social media, and oh, what's it entail? Does it entail Twitter or Facebook? No. It's on the other end of the funnel, once that customer's gone through the funnel, to manage to and through the happy customer. Give them that platform so that they can share the story, the wonderful story, about your brand and that interaction. And social media also surrounds the funnel because this is a cultural shift. And I know I keep pounding that drum, but in my book, there, I put forth the manifesto that social media is much more of a spiritual awakening than a technological one. And if you stop and you think about it, it comes back to, hey, where do I, what do you consider social media? Is email social media? Yes. And these little guys, every little feature that's on, everyone has these smartphones, that's all social media. And gee, should I be on Twitter? It's my own personal account. Yeah, you should be on Twitter and you should learn about it yourself because that's your own personal brand. Oh, well, I'm not going to do social media. But guess what? When you stood up and asked that question, I took a picture of you and I tweeted it myself. And then I found out what your name was. So no matter, everybody thinks that they're insulated from this. This is a definitive cultural shift. It has nothing to do with, gee, should I do a print buy or should I do an email campaign? It's everything. It's Charlene Lee from, from uh, Altimeter Group has said that the future of social media is that it's going to be air. And I want to take it a step further. It's not just air. It's not going to be air. It's more spirit. It's going to have sentiment behind it. It's going to be, I love this restaurant. I love that brand. I want to talk to that brand. And there's power there. And that's a great thing. And people are so concerned about Zuckerberg and the behind the scenes and he has all this information. It's just the way it is. And it's okay. The more information you give to certain advertisers, the better that interaction is going to be. When I get an advertisement that nails it, to a certain extent, you're shaking your head. I see that. But if I get a, if I get an advertisement about the cool red tie because I want to look just like Jack Serpa when I grow up, and that's amazing, and I get a great red tie, and I say, wow, that's fantastic, they do that because they know information about me. And guess what? They already have it. Target already knows when there's a woman that's going to be pregnant because they have information from the, from the purchases that are happening in Target. They don't throw it in your face and say, hey, we know you're pregnant. They're subtle about it. They put an advertisement on the back of the catalog, but they already have that information. It's already there.